Hi, welcome to part five of the mystery quilt, that garden quilt. And boy, that garden is growing. So this time we're going to make, yes, I think you've probably guessed it, another panel um, of the garden. And we've got some lovely looking tulips this time and a very busy bee hanging around in there. And uh, I'm quite liking the way some of the insects are creeping into my garden. And so we've got the tulip. So I've got all mine cut out this time. I haven't sewed it yet. I'm about to go and do that. So in your pattern, you've got all the shapes and things that you'll need for that, a diagram of the block, how it's hopefully going to look at the time. And then we've got some other shapes. Again, we're going to join that panel that we made last month, which was this luscious poppy one. We're going to join that onto this other larger panel that's growing and growing, as gardens do. And there's a flower that comes up the centre of that. So I've got all mine cut out. I haven't joined it yet. And there's a very sleepy little snail in there this time. So again, I've got some, from the stems that we're doing, I've got this uh, lovely big flower. Oops, that's a snail bit. Um, and it's got some leaves and bits that will go on. Again, tucked just behind the stem as you do them and then this little snail is going to be creeping up that stem there because snails love to creep up stems. Um, so I'm going to go away and do my sewing and also in the pattern you'll find that I give you the diagram of the actual applique that we're doing this month over the join of the two panels. And there's also a picture that grows each month which I'm sure you've noticed in your pattern, and you get the pattern. It's a free download pattern from gourmetquilter.com under Mystery Quilts. And this is growing as well, because so as, as we add the next panel, we're seeing the, the, the garden growing. So for this month, we're making tulips, and we're joining that panel. So I'm going to go away and sew now, and I'll sew, show it to you when I finish sewing. So I've been very busy stitching, watching my garden grow. So I've finished off my panel here, and I'll show you in both colorways. So here we've got our tulips with our very busy little bee buzzing around, as bees do, and uh, looking quite luscious. And then I've done it here in the alternate colourway with that light background. And that bee is so busy, I've found a newsprint fabric and he's got writing all over his wings, so he's telling us all sorts of things. And then I've done the applique over the join of the previous panels. So I'll show you this. It's getting quite large, this garden. So I've done this humongous flower coming up here, but it's uh, set itself nicely in the garden. It seems to have settled in well. The dragonfly seems quite happy. And then I'll just show you in the other colourway as well. So. As you can see, I've alternated my backgrounds, and I think that's all coming together really well. So that's the end of, uh, of this part, and we'll see you again next month.